hang in one. Hope you're all okay and you're enjoying this time at home and you're all keeping safe and happy with your mums and dads and grown-ups, aunties or uncles, grandmas or granddads who are living with you at the moment. I just thought it'd be quite nice to share a story with you all. Um, I'm sat now in Nora's bedroom, um, so I hope she doesn't come in, but she might do, so I'm sorry about that if she does. So I'm going to share this book with you, The Gruffalo. So I'll try and hold it up here. We've read this one in class, so we're going to look at the front cover, which has got The Gruffalo on it, and the author is Julia Donaldson and Alex Sheffier. This is also on, we can watch a video of this on the BBC, so I'll put everything afterwards onto the website and you can look at that there. So we'll start reading this. It's one of my favourite books is this. A bit classic to A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no. I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favourite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. <gasps> An owl went the mouse, on went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, Al, but no, I'm going to have tea with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this stream. And his favourite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream! Twit twoo, goodbye little mouse and away all flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no. I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has orange eyes, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favourite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye little mouse and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, but who is this creature? with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh help, oh no, it's a Gruffalo. My favorite food, said the Gruffalo. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse, don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's Snake, said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, dear, he said. 
Goodbye, little mouse, and off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran through his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble. My favourite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as a wind he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found him the nut and the nut was good. I love that story. It's one of my favourite ones. Julia Donaldson's my favourite author that writes the stories. So what I was going to say for you to do was you can do some different challenges, which I will write down and put on there as well. But I thought I'd tell you what they are as well. You could design your own deep dark wood. So you could get a cardboard box and you could use some toilet tubes and make them as your trees. You could use some tissue paper. You could use paint to make your own forest. If you don't have them things, don't worry. You could also write your own Gruffalo story. You, you could change the Gruffalo character into a big wolf, for example, and you could describe a wolf and change that character. You can describe the deep dark wood, how it smells, how it, how, what you can feel, what you can see, all different things like that that you could look at. You can also watch The Gruffalo on the BBC website and I'll put a link up to that as well so you can see that. But you can do anything you want to do with this activity. I'll put some challenges up there. But anything to do with The Gruffalo, I've seen some Gruffalo biscuits before that look absolutely amazing. You could make a Gruffalo crumble and write the instructions about how you made your crumble. Anything. Anything you want to do with The Gruffalo, I want you to have fun could write your own story map, your own, anything you want to do, which would be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what you can do. And I will put on everything that we've spoke about on the challenges on the website as well. I'm really missing you all. I can't wait to see you all. And I will post another story, I think, next week, a different one. So you could maybe email me different stories that you'd like to read. I have got up here... This was one of our favourites that we did. I've got this one. I have got absolutely loads of different ones that we could read. So if you send me what you'd like to read and we'll have a look at if I can find that for you. Missing you all. See you all next week. Bye.